Hi hey everyone, Pastor Kelly coming back at you again. It seems like it's Mega Church Sunday for me today. I've, I've been Mega Video Sunday, I expect. I think it's the fourth one I put out today. I want to read you Galatians 1 8 there. It says, But though we or an angel from heaven preach any other gospel unto you than which we have preached unto you, let him be accursed. I want you to keep that in mind for a moment. While you have that in mind, fresh in your memory there, I want to present to you Mr. Joel Olston. Now this fella, he's another one of those mega church pastors out there begging for your money. and He's out there teaching those, preaching those easy peasy pansy preaching, preaching sermons and uh, not preaching the word hell. The word hell is a dirty word to him. He won't even say it, and let alone preach it. He says in his article that he feels that our life is filled full of enough doubt and turmoil and and sorrow that we don't need to hear about hell or that we're going to possibly go to hell. He, we only need to hear the good things about God and the good things about Jesus. Well, I agree. We do need to hear the good things of God and the good things he'll do and the good things that Jesus has done for us and the forgiveness of eternal and our eternal hope and our eternal guarantee of salvation. But we also need to let the folks know that doesn't know that and doesn't have that faith and isn't saved that they are destined for eternal hellfire and damnation. And for the wages of sin is death. And all the sins that are being committed today, man, oh man, is it the time of Sodom and Gomorrah, is the days of Noah. And if you know your Bible, it says that, uh, you know, the times are coming close. So we don't have but maybe just a few more days, weeks, or years to let these folks know that if they don't find Christ, they are going to hell. Mr. Joe Olston, you need to learn how to say the word, and you need to learn how to preach the word. And if you know your Bible, and you're preaching another gospel than what we're preaching and what we were taught, then you shall be accursed, my friend. I'll pray for you, Mr. Olson, and the rest of you. You all pray for me, because I sure need it. We love you, but Jesus loved you more. He's keeping you from going to hell if you believe in him. Pastor Kelly's out of here.